Hi everyone, here's the beginning of the notes. So we're gonna focus on 45, 45, 90 tri triangles. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna start with the square and we're gonna look at its diagonal, very poorly drawn, <laughs> sorry. So some things we know about a square is that there's 90 degree angles all the way around, okay? And if I call this side one, this side is one, this side is one, this side is one. If I draw a diagonal, that means this is going to be 45 degrees, and then that's going to be 45 degrees. So what I mean by that is the diagonal cuts the square directly in half. So when I'm not drawing it, this side and this side are the same. Okay, so now if we take a minute and we say, what is the measure of this diagonal? Well, what I would do is I'd look at the triangle within, okay? I have two sides, and so while I can use trig to find this side, it is much quicker to use um, a uh, to use Pythagorean theorem, okay? So if I do that, I get 1 squared plus 1 squared equals, let's call it c squared, 1 squared plus 1 squared, 1 squared is 1, 1 squared is 1, so that's going to give me 2 over here. And then I'm going to, I want to know what c is, not what um, c squared is. And so I'm going to square root both sides, and I'm going to leave this in simplified radical form. So what that means then is that my diagonal is equal to root 2. So if I start a little table over here, I'm going to call this side and this diagonal. If I have a side of 1, I have a diagonal of root 2. Okay. Now if I do that same work for a, tri for a square that has a length of 3 and a length of 5 and a length of 8, obviously not to scale. If I did this same Pythagorean theorem work, what I would get is this diagonal would be equal to 3 root 2. This diagonal would be equal to 5 root 2. And this diagonal is equal to 8 root 2. Now, if you're like, uh, I need to do that to be pr to, to have that stick with me, pause the video, take a second, do Pythagorean theorem, and find simplified what the diagonal is. Okay, so you can go ahead and pause. Okay, if you paused, you're back. If you didn't, here we are. And if I write down my sides, I have 3, 5, and 8, and I just picked random ones. And then my diagonal for a side with a, um, of 3 is 3 root 2. My diagonal with a side of 5 is 5 root 2. And my diagonal with a side of 8 is 8 root 2. And so what do we notice? Well, what we notice is the diagonal equals the side length root 2. Okay. And so this is going to be the basis for one of our special right triangles. Okay. So regardless of what size it is, we would have similar triangles. But what we notice always to be true is that if we have a triangle that is a 45, 45, 90 triangle, and that's labeling the angles, what is always the case is that if I call one of the legs A, the other leg has to be the same measure. Again, it breaks down from a square. And then what always happens is that the hypotenuse is always going to be the side length root 2.